Go p r y a n o Hello everyone. Today I would like to share with you my Go life story. How I started Go and became a professional player. I started playing Go when I was nine years old. It's a long time ago. <laughs> That time I didn't know Go at all. Of course, one of my friend uh, was learning. Baduk in Baduk Academy in my town, and she one day asked me, "Oh, you wanna go somewhere, which is very fun?" So then I said, "Okay, I will go," and she brought me somewhere. That place is the Baduk Academy, and I learned Baduk that day. And the moment I learned, I still remember I was. Addicted to this baduk. Actually, my friend brought me there and sold me because she could get a present. <laughs> yeah, so she got a present, and after a few months, she quitted baduk. You know, it's like that. And I continue. From the first day I learned baduk, and I every day went to baduk academy and stayed there for whole day after school. And one day, my teacher even asked me, "Aren't you going home? Are you gonna stay here forever?" <laughs> yeah, so I really, really enjoyed uh, playing baduk from that time, and uh, I studied and I play go every day for whole day. So I improved very fast. And in my town, I became a strongest player. People used to call me. Monster, yeah, little monster. Not now, <laughs> not now. After one year, I started dreaming of becoming professional player. Why not? I become a pro. After a few more years, when I was primary six, I decided. I'm surely decided to become a professional player. From primary three, I learned, and three, four. Five. I also used to join uh, some competitions, and I, I won some of competitions as well. And I, I have a photo with that, so I will show you how I look like. Yeah, that was little Yanu when I was primary five, which is eleven years old, and I was doing interview because that time I won one of competition. And I was interviewing like this. I feel very happy to win, even though my legs are very painful to play baduk. I don't know why I said my legs are painful because I was sitting whole day and playing go. Anyway, and I said, uh, I, my dream is becoming a professional player. I interviewed like this. <laughs> I moved my. Um, Studying place to Kiwon, from Paduk Academy to Kiwon. Kiwon has lots of、uh, old men. You know, every day they go there and play, and there are many many strong players as well. Are you old? You are only four years old. So,、uh, because there was a very strong player, so I wanted to learn from him. So I moved there. So every day after school, I went to Kiwon and played with many many old men. And from primary six, I decided professional player, right? So I only went to school for morning part. So for morning four hours, and before lunch I left to Kiwon. So I already focused on studying Padu from that time playing. With many many、uh, uncles, old men, is good because they usually don't play with joseki. They just play. You know, they have a lot of experience, so they have their own moves. So I study joseki. I use that against him, and he never answers like that. And I could study lots of moves, not joseki. But like a trick moves or、uh, not 
the proper moves so I could uh, have a lot of experience from all these kind of moves. So that was a good thing. But the bad thing is they smoked a lot. So when I was 12 years old, I didn't smoke. But after studying Kiwon, I went to school and my friends every time asked me, did you smoke? Did you smoke? Because you smell like you smoke so much. Because for whole day I stayed there and everybody smoked there almost. But anyway, it's okay. I improved a lot from that key one. And also uh, my teacher bet on my game. So it's kind of a, he's a sponsor and I'm a player. So it's not a big one, but for example, if he puts $10 on my game, so if I win, we will divide half. So I get half and he get half. If I lose, he pay everything. <laughs> so yeah, whenever there is money, somehow I want more. So uh, whenever I want like $5 or $10 and I go to the hamburger store, there was a hamburger store uh, downstairs, so I used to eat lots of hamburgers. <laughs> so I really like that hamburger. And I went to middle school. So that time was when I was 13 years old. So I thought I am quite fine. I play quite fine. And I moved to another academy, which is called Paduk Dojang. Paduk Dojang, uh, usually students who really want to become a professional player, they go to this Paduk Dojang. So from Kiwon, I moved to Paduk Dojang because I really wanted to become a professional player. And there are many kids who are really, really super strong. Everybody, almost everybody was stronger than me. So I realized, ah, how, how I become a professional player? Because so many people are stronger than me. So I realized the reality and I, I decided to quit my school. Because, um, because I, that time I felt I am not competitive if I go to school and study and after that go to Tojang and study Go and it's not good enough to compete with other kids. So I told my parents, I want to quit my school and I will become a professional player. I will show you. And of course, my parents were worried so much because once I quit the school, if I couldn't become a professional player and yeah, so almost every friend of my parents told them you shouldn't let her quit school. But in the end, my parents let me quit this school and asked me to try your best. So I really appreciate their choice at the time. So that, that time I quitted the school. Actually, the day I quitted my school was quite sad because I also was uh, very close to friends in school. So I was like crying. <laughs> I, I, I'm quitting my, the school, but you know, let's keep in touch people. Yeah, and then I left. And from that day, I really studied really, really hard. I put my efforts a lot. Every my efforts I put, I think that time was, uh, I studied the hardest. Yeah, that period. I will tell you how I study for a day. So um, I wake up about that 8 a.m. because I slept very late. And after that, I have a uh, breakfast and I washed and I go to this Paduk Dojang. And in the morning time, it's a uh, studying alone time. So usually I see uh, some professional, recent professional players game records and 
uh, solving life and death problems for a few hours. After that, I have lunch. After lunch, actually for lunch time also, uh, if I could, I, if I could think about Paduk variations, actually continuously I was thinking, I was thinking. So I wanted to use my time fully. So after lunch, come back and uh, I play with other friends one game or two games a day and after that we get a group review from a professional player teacher after that yeah after that we have dinner after that we have also another alone uh, studying time so life and death problems or uh, looking at professional game records or studying a new pattern and then after that, after like 9 p.m. usually the paduk dojang finishes, so I go to for uh, physical exercise. Usually I used to play soccer or basketball with my friends there in dojang, or I go to gym. And then I train. After that, I go home. So it's about 11 p.m. So about for three hours, I study again life and death, looking at professionals game record studying pattern and then about 2 a.m. I went to bed so that was my daily uh, goal studying process and I did that for many years I did that for many years of course during in the, in the middle there are some obstacles and one of the obstacle was um, when I was in Dojang there are many many boys and only few girls like for example like 40 boys and like five girls you know in in goal world is like that one time i had a boyfriend yeah it was it was so sweet sweet time and my teacher noticed that me and him are together so one day we were having fun on the top of the building and actually he found us <laughs> he found us and he asked me to come to his room so okay have a seat and hey you have now now it's a such an important time for you in your life in your goal life the moment you become a professional player you could choose any any boy he told me that so please please break up with him <laughs> and then I was thinking I was that time quite young so it was like uh, 14 or 15 years old and I know I know I I, I quitted my school so I should study uh, go very hard so after I listen I think you are right I think you are right I think I should focus more on my goal now so after I think, I met him on the top of the building <laughs> and I told him, I think we should break up. Yeah, because I, I think I should focus on my Baduk studying more. And he said, really? Oh, please don't go. And I said, I should go. Then I said, bye. And we really, really broke up. Yeah, after that, I really studied really hard. <laughs> Sorry for him, but yeah, it's, you know, that time wasn't a good time. And I became insane. And also every weekend, I go to Korean Go Association and I play with other kids. And one time I really wanted to quit this paduk because that time uh, I kept losing for Inze League and somehow I, I felt really bored and it was so difficult. So it was like high school time and I, I didn't go to academy for a few days and I told my mom I want to quit this paduk and I will be a soccer player. I will be professional soccer player. So I will change my dream. And then my mom persuaded 
and my teachers persuaded me. So in the end, I was persuaded. Luckily, if I went to uh, become soccer player, I am sure I couldn't be. And ah, no, no, it's too difficult to become a soccer player. No way. So it was really good that I was persuaded by people. So I started again and uh, I went to, I joined a professional player uh, test. So if you win this test, then you become a professional player. And that time only two female players could be a pro a year. So that time, I went to final, so if I win this game, then I will become a professional player. But I lost this game. Ah, oh, I was so frustrated. Just almost I was there, and I just lost that game. Ah, oh, so like, ah, oh, I should study a game for a year? <laughs> oh no. And I, I called my mom. Ah, uh, I lost. And then my mom said, it's okay, you can try next year. And no, then I was crying. <laughs> and then um, next year I tried again. Luckily, I won every games. So I got first. That, that time it was uh, 2005. So I became a professional player when I was 17 years old so i started at nine ship 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 some such ship about after seven or eight years i became a professional player and since then and i have been living a uh, goal life very well oh yeah uh in high school i want to focus more so i shaved my hair so it was like that yeah i was like that and one day one day I was wearing my high school uniform. I went to high school and I only went to high school once a week and only studied for morning time. And uh, uh, I was wearing high school uniform, which is a skirt and you know uniform. My hair was like that. And I was outside walking and one boy saw me and he was so shocked and... <laughs> yeah, so he... <laughs> He was, I think, so shocked to see a girl who has a hair like that and wearing a skirt. So I, I think he was shocked. I, I understand. I understand. Yeah. So with that short hair, I could fully focus on, on go. So if you want to be stronger, first thing you should do, shave your hair. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. So today I share with you my goal life story. So my goal life story started when I was nine and I am quite satisfied uh, with what I do now. Thank for my friend who introduced me, Baduk, and I will share with you my current goal life story next time. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye. Annyeong.